Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this morning Holy Eucharistic celebration. Today, 2nd February, the presentation of the Lord. A light to enlighten the nations. Forty days have passed since the Feast of Christmas. We have long since taken down our Christmas decorations with their multicolored lights, but hopefully the light of Christ continues to shine brightly among us. The candles we use in liturgy remind us that Christ is our light and that we, in turn, are called to reflect the light to all the nations. Let us pray for divine retreat centers, some must be. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the divine retreat centers, some must be. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer in this your temple. May the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon. Praise to Jesus. Entrance and defend. Your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we celebrate the feast day of the presentation of Lord Jesus in the temple, let us remember all the students, especially those who are going back to their schools, those students joining school new and changing schools and all that influence them. We remember them and pray, O oh Lord, all the areas of their growth, all the stages of their growth, let a hand of mercy and protection be upon them. Enlighten their heart, mind and soul and let them be victorious in their studies as well as in their life. Let's pause for a moment, recalling to mind all our shortcomings and sins and asking the Lord forgiveness and pardon and to make us worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, Christ, have Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. 
Almighty ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten son was presented on this day in the temple in the presence of our in the substance of our flesh so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever Amen. be seated for the readings first reading a reading from the prophet malachi the lord god says this look i am going to send my messenger to prepare a way before me the lord you are seeking will suddenly enter his temple and the angel of the lord covenant an angel of the covenant whom you are longing for yes he is coming says the lord of hosts who will be able to resist the day of his coming who will remain standing when he appears for he is like the refiner's fire and the fuller's alkali he will take his seed as refiner and purifier he will purify the sons of levi and refine them like gold and silver and then they will make the offering to the lord as it should be made the offering of judah and jerusalem will then be welcomed by the lord as in former days as in the years of old the word of the lord the sponsorial psalm who is the king of glory it is the lord who is the king of glory it is the lord o gates lift up your heads grow higher ancient door let them enter the king of glory Who is the king of glory the lord the mighty the valiant the lord the valiant in war Who is the king of glory it is the lord O gates lift high your heads grow higher ancient doors let him enter the king of glory Who is the king of glory it is the lord Who is he the king of glory He the Lord of armies he is the king of glory Second reading a reading from the letter to the Hebrews Since all the children share the same blood and flesh Jesus too shared equally in it so that by his death he could take away all the power of the devil in slavery all their lives by the fear of death for it was not the angels that he took to himself he took to himself descent from abraham it was essential that he should in this way become completely like his brothers so that he could be compassionate and trustworthy high priest of god's religion able to atone for human sins that's because he has himself been through temptation he is able to help others who are tempted the word of the lord hallelujah 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 this is the light of revelation to the nations and the glory of your people israel alleluia 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 the lord be with you A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the day came for them to be purified as laid down by the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, 
observing what stands written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male must be consecrated to the Lord, and also to offer in sacrifice, in accordance with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now in Jerusalem there was a man named Simeon. He was an upright and devout man. He looked forward to Israel's for comforting and the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had set eyes on the Christ of the Lord. Prompted by the Spirit, he came to the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the law required, he took him into his arms and blessed God and he said, now, Master, you can let your servant go in peace just as you promised, because my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared for all the nations to see, a light to enlighten the pagans and the glory of your people Israel. <clears throat> as the child's father and mother stood there wondering at the things that were being said about him, Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, You see this child, he is destined for the fall and for the rising of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is rejected, and a sword will pierce your own soul too, so that the secret thoughts of many may be laid bare. There was a prophetess also, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher, she was well on in years, her days of girlhood over. She had been married for seven years before becoming a widow. She was now 84 years and old, 84 years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. She came by just at that moment and began to praise God and she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When they had done everything the law of the Lord required, they went back to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. Meanwhile, the child grew to maturity and he was filled with wisdom and God's favor was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, happy feast to you all on this day of the presentation, the feast day of the presentation of the Lord. And today, in this passage, we see Jesus being presented in the temple and being completed for him all the sacrifices that has been written down in the required by the law of the Lord. And we see two extra people here, two prophets one is Simeon and the other one is prophetess Anna. Both of them were so joyful to see Jesus because Holy Spirit was in them and Holy Spirit had revealed in them and they were filled with joy at the sight of Jesus. Or in other words, they felt their lives being completed and fulfilled at the sight of Jesus, having Jesus with them. Dear brothers and sisters, all the presentation of uh, Jesus in the temple this day of feast. This prophet is Anna and prophet Simeon, priest Simeon. They are asking, they are, they are looking at us and telling us, you all have received Jesus in your life. In the Eucharist you receive Jesus, in baptism, in all the sacraments you receive Jesus in your heart. And do you feel that your life is fulfilled? Your life is uh, joyful because of Jesus in you. Today is a day for us to just ask ourselves, is my life fulfilled with Jesus? Because Anna and Simeon, they had the fulfillment of their, their life at, the, at, the look, at, at having a look of Jesus. At this time, especially um, uh, Simeon is praying, Lord, now as you have promised, 
I have seen, my eyes have seen the salvation which you have promised. Now you can let your servant go in peace because my life is fulfilled now. So dear brothers and sisters, it is his presence, the presence of Jesus in our life that makes our life fulfillment. It is not anything that we acquire, anything we look for in life, any other riches, but it is Jesus and his presence in our life that makes our life fulfilled, a life complete. So let us keep Jesus this whole day within us. Everything that takes away that presence of Jesus, any sin, any other uh, habits, addictions, other thoughts, other endeavors, let us keep that aside for a while and keep Jesus this whole day in our lives so that we feel our life fulfilled and joyful. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, today we ask of you this grace to keep the presence of Jesus all through our life so that we feel our life fulfilled and we feel our life joyful. Lord, everything that takes away the presence of Jesus from us, all our sinfulness, all our addictions, our habits, Lord, we surrender them unto you. Cleanse us, purify us, so that our heart become a place for Jesus to stay always. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord, may we sacrifice in your sight this day. Be pleasing to you, Lord, O Lord, wash our iniquities and cleanses from all our sin. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you willed that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and the light of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation and with the angels and saints praise you as without end we acclaim Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather our people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these sacred mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son and his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and, all, and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ you said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit so let's offer each other sign of peace Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed all those who are not able to go to church physically to receive the lord it's a time of spiritual communion we say this prayer inviting the lord into our heart my jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are there. You are already there and unite myself wholly to you and never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. communion and defend my eyes have seen your salvation which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. 
And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's serve the Lord in love and peace. Thanks be to the Lord. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priests. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your Keep unstained that anointed head, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep your unfaith their hearts, filled with sublimate marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's condition. Bless their labors with abundant fruit, and may the souls to whom they have ministered be their joy and consolation. Yeah. Uh -huh.